Hi, this is Leo with Scott Lavoie Marketing, and in today's tip video, I'm going to show you how you can utilize Dot Loop to simply print out blank documents, bring those forms on your appointment so you can hand fill them out, have your client hand sign them in front of you, and then add those back to your loop. Now, of course, the general concept of Dot Loop is that it gives you the ability to type in your forms, send those to your client via email to, so they can click to electronically sign. However, you may run into cases where your client is, does not trust electronic signatures, or maybe you're not a big fan of technology, and that's totally fine. Dot loop can be used in a couple different capacities to fit your needs best as an agent. So I'm going to show you a slightly different way that you can utilize dot loop to best fit the needs for your business. All right, so the first step is you can go into your dot loop account and you can either get into dot loop by going to mykw.kw.com and clicking start my transactions or of course you can go to dot loop.com directly to log in and when you do log in you will notice on the top right of your screen this templates icon okay, it looks like two sheets of paper on the very top right of your dot loop homepage there and let's go ahead and click on that All right, from there, so from clicking on that templates icon on the very top right, it will take you to a whole bunch of a list on the left hand side of a whole bunch of different form folders it's going down the screen and on the left hand side in red. Now these form folders will look different than the ones you're seeing on my screen. These form folders are added in by your office staff. So on the left hand side, you can search for the form folder that you're looking for that would have the form that you may need to print out and simply click on that form folder on the left hand side. Once you select the form folder you need, you'll notice it underlines it in black there, and you'll be able to scroll up to the top of your screen where you'll see a search bar. All right, in this search bar here, you'll be able to type in the any keywords that you're looking for. You can either search by the form name or the form number here. So if you know the form number, you can type that in to pull that up right away or you can type in the any keywords. So if I'm looking for a listing agreement, for example, I may type in the word listing, and it will pull up all forms with the word listing in the title. Now you may notice that some of the form names do run off at the end. Right, if you hover your mouse over that form name and just leave your mouse there, it will pop up a little black speech bubble letting you know the full name of that form so you can make sure that you're getting the correct form. And of course, you can't always simply click on that form name to open that up so you can review the form to make sure that is correct. Now, once I find the proper form that I need to print out, I can then click on the three drop down dots on the far right of this form name. Okay, anytime you see those three drop down dots within dot loop, that does mean more options, so keep an eye out for that. That can come in handy. And I would simply click download. Okay, so again, three drop down dots on the far right and click download. What will happen is it will pull the form out of dot loop at, onto your computer as a PDF. And depending on what browser you, you're, you are using, your downloads may be in a slightly different place. I'm using Google Chrome, so my downloads are on the very bottom of my screen here. I believe Firefox puts the downloads on the very top right. Okay, so that may go in a slightly different spot depending on your browser. From there, I can simply click on the form that I pulled out of dot loop, click on that download. It will pull it up on my computer where I can then go to file on the top of my screen and print that right away. Okay, This will allow me to bring the form on my appointment. I can hand fill it in as I'm explaining the form to my agent, to my client on the listing appointment and have them then hand sign each form. All right, so let me just review those steps very quickly. I know that was quite a few steps to printing out a blank form. So let me just review that quickly with you. So step one, we clicked on the templates icon on the very top right of your dot loop account. Looks like two sheets of paper, that icon. Step two, we select the form folder in red on the left hand side. Step three, we scroll up to the search bar at the very top of your screen to search for either the form name or the form number in the search bar. And the final step is we are clicking on the three drop down dots to the far right of the form name and clicking download. Again, that will pull that out of dot loop and it will pull it onto your computer so you can print that out right away. 
All right, so let's fast forward a little bit. Let's talk about now how to get that signed document back into your loop. So you've gone on your appointment, and now you ha have the form in your hand, and you need to get that back into your loop. So the first step of what you would need to do is you would need to scan that to your computer. So if you don't have a home scanner, your office may have a scanner, and you'll just need to scan that document to your computer. Once that document is on your computer, you can then go to your loop. Right? And so from here, I can simply click on this loops icon on the top of my screen to get back to my dot loop home screen. All right, so that loops icon kind of looks like a smiley face with no eyes that will always pay, take you back to your dot loop home screen. From there, I can simply click on the loop that I would like to add that form to. I will pull that open. And I'll want to look at to the right of any of my folder names where you'll see Add Document. Okay, so whichever folder I would like to add that document to, I would click Add Document. And I'll notice three options that will display and I'll want to select the Browse option. So it's that middle blue box. You'll notice it says search and add any PDF from your computer into this folder. So I'm going to go ahead and click Browse. What will happen is it will start searching your computer for that document. Okay, so when you scan that document to your computer, make sure you're saving that to maybe your desktop or maybe your document, somewhere that you know uh, where to find that to pull that in. I will then scroll to find that on my computer. I can simply double click on that document and it will pull that into my loop right away. All right, so that is how you can simply use dot loop to print out a blank document, scan that back to your computer, and add that back to your loop once your clients have hand signed that form and you have hand filled it in. Okay, just a slightly different way to utilize dot loop to best fit your business. All right, for more information on how to use dot loop and how to utilize it to get electronic signatures and prepare the forms within dot loop, feel free to check out the dot loop 101 video, which can be found on SLM training.com. Again, that was slmtraining.com for our full dot loop tutorials to learn more about dot loop. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to contact us at support at I hope you have a great rest of your day.